Here are my six steps to significantly improve the quality of your video calls, whether it's for interviews, or if it's for webinars, or just simply meetings. Step one, where possible, place yourself near a window. So I've got a window just next to me here and one behind, which is letting a lot of light in. This means that the camera on my phone doesn't have to compensate for any low light and will improve the quality of the video. If there's not a convenient space near a window, then you can always just use a lamp or just your light or whatever light source you can get just to really amp up that light that's within the room. Step two, raise your camera so that it matches your eye line. So I've got my iPhone 11 Pro Max, which is on a tripod. This isn't the usual setup, so what you could do is you could get a monitor razor or a laptop razor, depending on what device you're using. Uh, if you don't have anything like this, then you can simply just use the books uh, and then prop your phone or your device up. Even if it's just a little closer to your eye line, it will significantly improve the quality of the video. Step three is to make sure that your background is as aesthetically pleasing as possible. So this can involve just simply doing a little bit of a tidy up to make sure that uh, it looks a lot more professional and just making sure that there's nothing inappropriate in the background, for example, any washing or anything like that, which probably doesn't really matter for a video call, but for an interview or a webinar, it just makes yourself seem a lot more professional. Step four, make sure that your audio is as high quality as possible. So the best way of doing this is just to do a test before you do uh, an interview or a webinar or whatever it is you're doing, listening back and seeing if there's anything you can do to improve. So what you can do is you can consider where you are filming. For example, if you're filming in the kitchen, then it's likely that you can have sort of like the hum from a fridge or whatever, or maybe someone knocking on the door. Um, so instead consider maybe using a bedroom um, where there's less likely to be any sort of, you know, machines that are going to be doing any humming. You can also consider using sort of like any ear pods that you have. Uh, for example, I use mine for my MacBook Pro just because it gives a bit of a crisper sound quality. Although you can still see the earphones in your ears, um, I just think it's best to have a better quality audio because um, it's what you're trying to communicate that's more important. Step five, make sure that your device, whether it's a laptop or a phone, is either fully charged or is on charge. Uh, this will make sure that you don't have any of those awkward cutouts halfway through a webinar or halfway through a meeting. You could also consider closing any other apps that you may have open. This could reduce any lag that you might have during your video call. So the final step is to avoid any distractions. So the best thing you could do is just tell anyone that's in your household um, that you are going to be on a video call, that you might be doing a webinar or whatever it is, that way they know not to distract you. What I use is my work lanyard, which I just put on my door handle. Uh, so if my partner does walk up the stairs, she can see that I'm midway through a meeting or a call and she knows not to distract me. So they are my six steps to improving the quality of your video calls. I hope you found them useful. If you have any other tips, uh, be sure to add them into the comments below. And please do follow Toby Sims Media on all my other platforms. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, and I'm on Twitter.